Flosstube, it's Sarah, our Stitching Kingdom. Welcome back. It is Friday the 13th, September 13th. We also have a full moon, so I'm just really glad I don't work in healthcare anymore. To those of you who work in healthcare and EMS, bless you. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I know. I, yeah. For whatever reason, things happen on full moons, and Friday the 13th is no exception. So. Um, welcome to any new subscribers. Welcome back to my old friends and family. Um, we are a little family here, so happy to have you. Welcome. Um, like most people, or my, most floss tube channels, this is a channel about cross stitch. There is some life stuff thrown in too. Um, just want to hope everybody had a great week and everything's going good for them. Um, Continue. September is just the month of the crazy. So um, we've got, we had a, Nathan had his track meet yesterday or his cross country meet yesterday and he finished at 11 minutes per mile. So about 22 minutes, which is really awesome. But it was much cooler. It was 85 degrees as opposed to 95. So 10 degree difference. It was nice. And we had noticed like with all the other runners too, that they were, um, that you could tell that they all everybody increased their time or decreased their time so they got faster times yesterday as opposed to the week before when it was 95 degrees outside it's not fun to run in that heat so and we've it's cooled down quite quite a bit so we've had to turn on our heater at night and so that's been really nice fall is here so um, even though it's still summer but um i hope everybody's like i said having a great week um I'll just jump into some stitching and progress. Let's see here. Where I left off was let's see. Um, they re -rele they released the next pattern of stiatch and sorry, I'm reaching here. And this is in my Rika um, House of Stitch and Stash bag. I love it because it's all quilted. I have another, I have a full like little set because I got a bag from Christine as well that's in this, um, this fabric. So I'm super excited. All Ravenclawed out. So, but Stiatch is a complete mystery cell. It, they, you know, I'm, I think that's what this is. We think that this is probably going to be the Golden Girls, but the heads are probably going to be customizable and different. And then like the saying is going to be different. Um, it runs, I want to say 11 weeks and it's a true mystery. So they release different parts of it, but yeah, you can totally tell that that's a hand, but this is probably based on a Golden Girls picture. So I don't know how to insert pictures. I don't, do I want to learn? I don't know. But, um, so yeah, finish my stiatch and that's really fun. It's going to be really interesting to see how it turns out because it could be that they do this and something's completely different, but there's lots of blended threads in there. So it's going to be really fun. Um, I also started, I did a lot of work on things unseen by Lizzie Kate. I actually used it for like all of the stitching challenges last week um and so i got pretty far um got a lot of stitches into it let me take the pattern off i actually moved the q snap down and i'm almost i have two and this is what it's going to look like when it's finished and i finished building the house and i actually moved down or no, I'm not quite done building the house. I have a few more rows on the house to go, but oh, that does not. Oh, it's my, <laughs> my scissors are keeping a, but as you see, I can, I move the Q snap down. I stitch these cute little sheepies and there's bees and this topiary and I'm off somewhere like up in here, but I really don't care because this was supposed to be up a little bit more. And then I just have a couple more rows left to do on the house. And then I can move down to part three. This is part two. And then I'll be moving down to part three. But yeah, that's Lizzie Kate, Things Unseen. It was a mystery cell. It was also a stitch along with Christine and Stephanie. Christine stitched all the things and Stephanie of Just Keep Stitching, which I think both of them have finished. I think there were other people involved too. Can, um, but yeah, so it's fine. I'm okay with stitch alone. It's, it's fine. <laughs> um, let's see, what else did I do? So starting Monday, we got new homework. 
Um, it was in Magical Stitches. It was a... Oh, one second. I'm going to... I forgot one thing. I'm back. Forgot one of the projects I was working on for homework last week. So, um, in Magical Stitches, we had to choose which path we were going to take because we're in book seven, which is half, half blood prints, and we needed to choose if we were going to follow the the goodness and the light, or if we were going to go down the the path of darkness. So, um, and then there was because. Um, sometimes the darkness could dazzle you so we had to also stitch on so something will light something dark and something that dazzled us so because sometimes you have to going towards whichever sometimes things can dazzle you so for light path and also for um, and then for enchanted stitches I went for royal which is 250 stitches on everything and so we had to do a forest animal a birthday gift food or baking and something that we changed because it's talking about how um, the cottage that a briar rose and the three fairies are living in so we're, we're going through there um, so I used cardinal points for the light path because cardinal points is a compass and this is what it's going to look like when it's finished Christine has finished it and it's beautiful I'm doing mine on 18 count one over one with the called for um, the Weeks Dye Works um, pack that they released with it and I did 600 stitches and then I also used 250 of those stitches to do um, the light or to do the forest animal because a cardinal is that a bird in a forest and there are birds in forests and there's also you know little insects and bugs so I finished this border I finished a lot of the little green leafy guys and I moved over here to the I think there's an urn right here so that's where I got so I was really proud with that like I said that's just 18 count white Ada just doing it one over one they, I made an oopsie while I was first doing it and this guy is stitched two over two or two over one but I'm not gonna pick them out and if from back here can't tell so unless you're like really up in its grill you're not gonna know and this is in my De La Luna Ladies Christine bag that I was super lucky to get. I'm so excited. Love it. Love her bags. I mean, love everybody's bags. But, you know, when you know the person, like when you've been watching the person and you feel like they, you know them, like they're your friend, you're like, oh, I've got something of my friend. It's so, like, it's a little momentum. And then for dark, I worked on... And this is dark and food and baking. I finished, well, not completely finished. There's a couple of things I have to still, one thing I have to still do on it. But I finished the bottom, because I'm making this into a drum. I finished the drum, the top of the Sleepy Hollow cell. So these, I used that food and baking. I said that, you know, we've got pumpkins right here, so we're, we're gonna make a pumpkin pie. So, and then, I cut it this up because like I said I'm gonna make a drum out of it but to do so I have to backstitch around the top of the design so I'm working on that it's just right up here it's supposed to kind of match the color so I've just got to go all the way around that guy one stitch one one stitch from the, the edge so I'm super excited to make my first drum and this is 40 count ancient oh hi there we go. 40 Count Ancient by Picture This Plus. And the way that I did the Sleepy Hollow Cell is it's in four parts. And so my next one is going to be 36 Count. And then 36 and 32, I want to say. Yep, 36, 32, and then um 28 so it'll be really fun to do that and have them not only drummed but they'll be a little even more stackable because the 40 count's going to be so much smaller than the other two and um it's my first time on 40 count and i've really liked it i have to wear my glasses if i wear my contacts i'm like i need readers i can't do this so did 400 stitches on that I actually did more like 500 because I was just like I'm just gonna go finish it because I had like 
a couple of rows left on um, the little top and I'm like I'm just gonna go for it we're just gonna finish it so did that and then for the bonus part um, of and then also for the birthday gift I worked on blue Moroccan lace by Chatelaine the supply and I have the the main part I have in my Garon Toten bag and then I have a bag from Lottie with tulip pink fabric on it and let me move this out of the way and then this is on it's got the kit from European cross stitch so it's um whatever it was they called for um there's actually no dmc in this so i'm just trying to see where i worked on so i had worked on this over here for a little bit for one of the challenges or for enchanted stitches and so what this is is i'm giving them a lace handkerchief and then for the dazzling it's for um you know a project i was dazzled by and when i saw can't remember her name Doris from um, she lives in in Washington State she is super awesome met her at Fall Fling and then again at, we sat at the same table at Spring Fling yeah at Fall, we sat at the same table at Fall Fling and same table at Spring Fling and she is just a fantastic lady but um, she finished this at Spring Fling or Fall Fling um, last year and so it was really cool and I was like okay I'm doing that it's on my wish list and yeah here, here we go so I finished more stitches down here and then I got some of this up here these little like this kind of tealy blue color right here so that's Moroccan lace by Chatelaine designs blue Moroccan lace love it so much and this part right here um, there's a little right here is a, just a little bit further and then I'm at the end the edge of the page so that, or the edge of the design so that's gonna be really nice to just go out from there and that's what my plan is to do is to finish out the sides and then go front and then go top and bottom because you have to I'm gonna have to move the fat move the Q snap so figure it'd be easier to go side to side and then up and down or down and up whichever I want to do so put that away and then what I and then some so I finished up my enchanted stitches homework and then for or not enchanted stitches magical stitches homework and then for something I changed and I'm currently working on this I held up a few more stitches to go is Wicked Plant by Barbara Anna and um, I changed the fabric on this I'm not using the call for fabric I'm using one that was in a stitchy box and then I'm using my friend Heather her conversion but that's the original but yeah I'm using a conversion that I got from um, my friend Heather Kawaii girl 76 I want to say I'll link her below but she's amazing she's a local Utah stitcher she lives up north north of me so um, and she had a really cool conversion I met her when we did our first stitch in at Deb and Kef's house that is come to be Stitch West. We're so excited for that. Um, but last year in October, we did a stitch in at Deb and Kef's house and, or Deb's house and Kef came and, you know, vlogged the whole thing. It was great. It was so much fun. And that's kind of like what got me into floss tube and everything. So I'm coming up on my one year floss tube anniversary too. So it'll be lots of fun. And my the lighting's, it's a little bit later today. So the lighting is a little crazy. Um, and then for part of the extra credit for the month or for the next two months on um, Half Blood Prints is we need to do half stitches and we need to do 500 of them, which equal 250 whole stitches. So I did, and so we could only do the 500 to half stitches. So you had to do either black work, back stitching or black work, something like that. So I did the fence across this. It's not all finished yet. I've got a couple more. I have to finish this guy, like, and then I have to go up and make. The rails but this is getting close to finish so finish did that I just need to finish like the little graveyard and then put another pumpkin down here and then I'll be good and this is um, tiny Halloween Sal uh, by Armada designs and I'll link that below um, plans um, just kind of I need to finish my my wicked plant by Barbara Anna or the the stitches for that 
Um, I want to finish the back stitching around the um, Sleepy Hollow, and then obviously whatever Magical Stitches and Enchanted Stitches tells me to do, I will do. Um, really quick, we'll talk about haul. And so I think, yes, haul. And so I got a couple of things um, from a couple different places. First, I ordered from Trish at Threads and Twined. I ordered two of Michelle Bendy's charts. This is number one, which is the Love Plant, which I love it. It's so cute. And then Messy Bun Day. And I'm going to alter this a little bit with Michelle's help because my friend is amazing. And then I also got, which I love that Trish does this, she just throws in a little skein of floss. And it's Thundercloud by Classic Color Works. Nice, pretty gray, which actually could go in that wicked or in that love plant if I wanted to. Um, so, did that. Got that. And then I also have Hildy and Noel. I have both of those on order from Abby Top Knot Stitcher from her Etsy shop. So I've got those on order. They are, sh they've been shipped to me, so they're coming. Um, Lindy Stitches, Stephanie, she had the cutest little freebie. And that's what it looks like. It is a little urn of horrors. Makes me think of Audrey. Oh, by the way, it's floss tube number 42. Yay, Audrey! And 42 is the answer to the ultimate question. So it is the answer to everything. It's my second favorite number. My favorite number is 72. But yeah, so this is a freebie. Um, I will try to remember to link it, but just look up Little Urn of Horrors and Lindy Stitches. It's on her blog. So much fun. So I plan on stitching that guy. And then I also got from Julie. Hi, Julie. Gulf Coast Stitches. Um, when Beth Twist released this um, Bird Biscornu, Julie messaged me and said, Hey, are you? Yeah, I'm getting this for you, right? And I said, Yes, yes, ma'am, you are. So, and if, as you can see, it is like every little bit of this Biscornu is stitched. So that's going to be really, really fun to do. And then also she had Blackbird Designs Love is in the Air. And I honestly really got it for this right here, for these this stocking that's violets, because we have violets, and there's another better picture of it. Um, violet's my favorite flower. It's also the flower for February, the birth flower for February. Um, and sorry about that red flashing, guys. Um, but we have violets in our house. Um, in our yard and so in the springtime it's just covered it looks like a little fairy ring and I love it it's so fun so I got those from Miss Julie and I will link her shop below she's amazing all of all of the places that I've shopped at are seriously amazing um, and I've never I've not really had any problems with any of them so um, got two things from one two three stitch I've been looking at this one and I was watching Michelle Bendy and she's in like where she has her finished it's like right above her and I just keep looking at her and so I have to get her and this is Midnight Ride by Blackbird Designs and it also has this cute little witchy pin cushion design too but um I love Michelle's Michelle's is named Minerva I think I'm not gonna do it in orange I'm probably gonna do I don't know some different color, but I love this with this little broomstick. So cute. Um, and I'm probably going to finish it as a box. I think it would be really cool to finish it as the top of a box, but we will see. We shall see. So I got that one from 123Stitch. And then also Erin, um, Two Martini Stitcher, and Leslie Hurley, Fat Cat Flossing. I know those are the two that I watch. I, there might be somebody else, but they're doing Play Jacks, Sal. So playing with Jacks. And then I'm, like Erin, I'm going to do the um, the pumpkin that Jen Hicks, Jen Hicks also did this, she said just a while ago, but this pumpkin, there's an alternative design that's got some really cute leaves on it. So I'm going to do that. And then, um, and then, so I got the silken colors and it's autumn bouquet. So if you look at it, it asks for something different. I can't remember what it was. No, it is autumn bouquet. Oh, it just says autumn, but it says autumn bouquet, but it's fine. 
but yeah, so I had um, had this on my wish list for a really, really long time since I saw Jan Hicks do hers, and I was like, I love that. And um, went to order it to do the Play Jack Sal, and it was out of stock, and so I was like, well, poo. And luckily, 123 Stitch has that thing that you can click to say, let me know when it's in stock, and you know, I'll order it. And click that, came up, and I was like, okay, yes, please, I'm going to get that. So I don't know when I'm going to start it, but I do have most of the stuff for it. I just have to kit up the rest. So <laughs> I'll get my fabric and everything. So lots of fun. And then one of my last things for haul is I got one of Christine's Rainbow Claw bags. Love it so much. And then on the inside is the Quidditch fabric. And then she does the pockets and she used the the um, stained glass for the pockets just so that you can see that and then on the inside of the pocket is actually this fabric as well so I don't know if you can but Rika makes amazing bags Christine makes amazing bags follow there um, Rika you follow her Instagram account and she'll do it on her lives and then on um, Christine you follow the stitch all the things D stash and she'll post them um, and she has all kinds of bags too and then she threw in this cane of Ravenclaw blue, which is Audrey's favorite color, 796. Maybe it's gonna focus, focus, dude. Don't focus on my face. Hello. Maybe, there we go, kind of, 796. So I think it's all about Audrey today. Love you, Audrey. <laughs> um, and then, think that's it. Um, shout outs. I've got some shout outs. Uh, Park Hopper Bart. He started his first floss tube. He's awesome. He is a gentleman stitcher, a dude stitcher. We love them and love his beard. He's got this epic beard and he's fabulous. Um, but he, his little, he kind of introduces himself and he's like, my wife was cross stitching and I wanted to learn. And I'm like, reminds me of Karen and Jason. So love that. Um, and so go follow him. I will and also like Karen KEB Studio or KEB Studio Creations. Um, I'll link them below as well, but I'll link Bart, Park Hopper Bart, and he um, he's really cool. Um, his his uh, his Instagram's really nice too. Um, so follow him, and then Ellen Reed, who is our amazing rock star, like literally rock star floss tuber. Um, her last floss tube and I'll link it below she does a, an amazing version of um, of Jolene contributed or tributed to our lovely Janine from Acorns and Threads and it was fantastic I mean I was dying it was so it just made my day and it was just like because it's all true Janine is amazing Janine is an, Janine is an amazing human like you go into Anchorings and Threads and you just feel welcome and you feel loved and she's just amazing. So um, I'll link that below and I do have to admit I like really fangirled. I went and followed um, Ellen Reed on Instagram and then just you know minding my own business and then all of a sudden like the notification comes in with so and so has requested to follow you and it was Ellen Reed. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. And I about, you know, I about died. And I told my husband, I was like, honey, our rock star is following me. And then I like circled her and posted her on my Instagram. I was like, guys, I'm going to die. I'm kind of freaking out. And she responded back. And I was just like, oh. She's an amazing human, guys. Like, seriously, go follow her. She's amazing. And she is um, in the band Crash Test Dummies. So, um, be really... And like I said, she's a hoot. She's a beautiful stitcher. Like, her her projects are amazing. And she does... She's very talented. Very talented in many ways. Um, like I said, plans. Magical Stitches, Enchanted Stitches. Hoping to finish up a couple of those things so I can... Um, especially that Sleepy Hollow one, so I can kind of finish it into my first drum. Really excited about that. And it is Floss Tube, Floss Tube finishing weekend, I want to say next weekend. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to do because we've got another crazy weekend. Um, this weekend is Alice's birthday. Hi, kitty. Come here. Come here. 
This is Rox. Yeah. You're okay. This is the one that is always, like, she's underfoot. She's always sitting next to me. She always has to have her, like, paw on me. Huh. You're codependent. She's a sweetie. Go ahead. But we're doing Alice's birthday party day. Monday is her birthday. She is turning eight. And we're doing her birthday this weekend. Her friend party is tomorrow. It's going to be lots of fun. We're going to do it at a bowling alley. And then um, Sunday we'll um, celebrate with some family. And then because Monday we've got acro and scouts and all that fun stuff. So <laughs> it's like, you know what? It's your birthday, but we got, we got our stuff to do. So we just move it around. We still celebrate it. She's going to be student of the week at her school next week. She filled out her little poster. Um, it was really cute on, on Wednesday, on September 11th, we were talking about Patriot's Day and September 11th and, and everything before she went to school. And she's like, mama, can I wear my poppy? Because we usually would wear, you know, we'll wear our poppy, um, with, for the American Legion Auxiliary. We wear that when we go to functions and on Veterans Day, Memorial Day. Um, and she's like, can I wear my poppy to school today? And I was like, of course you can. And so I texted her teacher. I was like, Alice wants to do this to remember all the heroes. And her teacher sent back and said, oh, what a sweetheart. Yes, of course she can wear it. And they did, um, they didn't do a school assembly, but in class they did some really good tributes and education for the kids and letting them know, you know, it's, it's an important day and we need to remember it. And we need to remember also how we all felt September 12th how we were all solid Americans. We were united and it didn't matter what was going on. We were all Americans and um, banding together to, you know, protect ourselves and to, to, to heal. And I think we all need to remember to be kind to each other, to, to be respectful of each other and to remember that we may have different different ideas about some things and we may you know I mean once you get into hate that's completely different but you know you know we all ha have different religions we all you know have different things that we do and as long as you're kind and respectful and you know we're this world would be very boring if we were all the same. That's what we tell our kids all the time, is that people are different and it's okay. And as long as you are nice and they are nice, we're all about that. Um, so, but super excited, super awesome. Um, we're excited for this weekend. We're excited that I'm gonna, <laughs> my baby's gonna be eight. I'm not really prepared for that, but it happens. I was looking on my Instagram and, or not my Instagram, but my Facebook memories popped up from, you know, eight years ago and we had gone to the doctor for, you know, our, our weekly check and we had gone, I want to say it was like on Monday, on a Monday or something like that. And, um, she wasn't moving. And so I had to stay a little bit later and they had to like check her heart. And then I came in the next day and, um, in the afternoon and they got her moving some more and they took a picture <laughs> and it was just like she was just all squished up and let me see if I can find it actually um because it is it is a funny funny thing um but she is just totally squished up and just ready she was done cooking and her due date was the 27th of September which incidentally is my mom's birthday and so we were really kind of excited that she was going to be born on my mom's birthday. And then she decided she was seven pounds, 13 ounces. And then, but she was just squished, squished in there. Uh, her little cute little face and little nose it is totally my Alice, her little hand right here. But, um, yeah. And then, seven pounds, 13 ounces. And two weeks or two day, three days later, she decided that she was done. And, but I, I had to have her C-section because nothing was moving on my end. And my doctor was like, well, we can do this, but it's going to be 50% chance of a C-section. And I just said, 
take her. We don't, I don't want to mess around with being in the hospital for 12 hours on top of whatever else. So just take her. And she ended up being like eight pounds something, eight pounds, 10 ounces or something like that. And she was two weeks early. So I think she was running out of room. I'm just tiny anyway. So, but that's a little too much information, I guess, but we're so, so grateful that she's here and she is, she's our little caboose and she's, she's just completed our family and she's just such a joy and we love her so much. And we just have a lot of special things for her this, this month. And so, and Snug Harbor Crafts, the Stitch West Retreat, we are in a little under a month, a little under a month, I believe. Well, no, one month and it's the 13th, one month and four days. And I think there's still some spots available. I will link you below to the the Google form and everything for Deb and Kef's retreat, Stitch West. It's here in Farmington, Utah, and so excited. Um, we're doing a food drive. My mom and I are doing a food drive and for raffle, for um, and then we'll do a raffle. So for every can or non-perishable item that you bring that we're, we're going to donate it to the Veterans Food Pantry at the VA in Salt Lake. And um, what we'll do is for every can of food or packet, you know, non-perishable item, we're going to give you a raffle ticket. And we've got like 11-ish items to raffle off. It's some good stuff. We, we've got some good stuff. So I'm super excited. And there's a Harmons if you're flying in or whatever. There is a Harmons just like seriously right across the street. You can get go into your Instacart, order, pick it up. Or on your way in, just kind of swing by and go in, bring it, go in and grab a couple of cans. I think they're having a case lot sale. I can't remember. But it's right, seriously, right across the street from where the, where the, the retreat's being held. So hope to see you there. So um, hope you guys all have a great week, a great weekend. Um, please stay safe. Please, you know, be kind to each other. Be, be awesome humans. And um, I'll put the links to everything below in the show notes. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. Bye.